okay what's going on everybody so in this video I'm gonna be showing you how easily and simply you can make your own litmus paper by only one ingredient and that ingredient is nothing else but a hibiscus flower this flower can be found easily so all you gotta do is simply remove the stem like this and take a A4 sheet crush the flower and start rubbing it onto the sheet as soon as you do so you will notice that a purple color starts uh, getting onto the sheet and if you guys know then the purple color is the color of a neutral substance so this is gonna be the color of our litmus paper or an acid base indicator paper I'm gonna be doing same with the other flower as well removing the stem crushing hard and taking the color off onto the sheet let me try and fill the sheet up well that's cool okay so after trying it up it will look like this and you gotta take a scissor and cut the paper and you gotta cut the paper in the stripes in the form of a actual litmus paper stripe so after you're done with that we'll have a look with, at it okay guys so our stripes are done and it looks pretty cool okay so now to test our litmus paper I have got here two solutions first is of sodium hydroxide and the second one is having hydrochloric acid in the concentrated form here's our litmus paper which we have just made so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick one random randomly out and see that how is it gonna behave first of all in the base and then we'll gonna be dipping it in the acid so first here is sodium hydroxide or L Y E Li. Let's dip it in. <clears throat> okay, so as you guys can see, I'll try to focus it on. Yeah, that's cool. You guys can see that the color has changed to blue from purple, and that's clearly visible. That's because sodium hydroxide is a powerful base which changed its color. Now let's try to dip it in the hydrochloric acid and see that how does it behave. Whoa, that's cool. As you guys can see that the color has changed to deep pink or dark red. And this indicates that the substance is acidic. Okay, so there's one more thing guys that we can do with the hibiscus plant. Uh, I'm gonna take some water in one beaker take a hammer and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, Slightly crush all of these flowers so that I can get that juice out of them which acts as a, a acid base indicator I'm just gonna go ahead and crush it up. I think it's done now I'm gonna be adding it into the water and gonna just give it a little wobble so that it's mixed thoroughly inside it okay so now after the filtration guys the liquid looks like this and it's a really really dark purple or violet color and i've got here three mixtures first one is of acetic acids so let's drop it inside and see that how does it behave all right so let's give it a verbal and see if it's actually gonna change its color or not I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it up with the help of these sticks and as you guys can see that the color immediately changes to red and thus indicates that the substance we added inside water is acidic that's cool
okay so now we are having a sodium hydroxide solution again guys and let's go ahead and drop it in there it goes let's stir it up again as we did last time okay guys remember if we are adding the base uh, after the acid it is not gonna turn like blue because um, it's not the real pH indicator in the liquid form but yes it's definitely gonna fade out the red color a little bit and we're gonna get some precipitate out of it I'll try to show you guys yes this is the precipitate uh, little slushy looking blocks of purple and blue color and it has faded out the red color as well okay so now we are having our bad boy back which is concentrated hydrochloric acid okay guys so please be really really careful handling this thing as i once accidentally dropped on my palm and it has sizzled me for at least a week whoa that looks cool actually what is happening here guys is the sodium hydroxide we added before is reacting with the hydrochloric acid to form salt and water uh, it's forming a lot of foam over there uh, let's try to get rid of that foam uh, it's pretty difficult to see through it uh, just a sec I will clean it up okay guys so we have clear, cleared off all the foam and now as you guys can see that the solution has changed to deep orange color and this is due to the hydrochloric acid it has definitely uh, became brighter hope you guys enjoyed peace out